So this is what Fox has become, a complete and utter joke. Save a few commentary shows like Sean Hannity and uh, Tucker Carlson. This is ridiculous. I mean, watch this John Roberts. He's like a uh, anchor man out of Ron Burgundy. Um, I'd like to ask you for a definitive and declarative statement without ambiguity or deflection. As the person who speaks for the president, does the president denounce white supremacism and groups that espouse it in all their forms? This has been answered yesterday by the president himself, the day before by the president himself on the debate stage. The president was asked this. He said, sure, three times. Yesterday, he was point blank blank asked, do you uh, denounce white supremacy? And he said, I've always denounced any form of that. I can go back and read for you um, in August 2019 in one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. In August of 2017, racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups. I have an entire list of these quotes that I can go through with you. He has condemned white supremacy more than any president in modern history. Just to clear it up this morning, can you, naming it, make a declarative statement that you denounce, that the president denounces it? I just did. Uh, the president has denounced this repeatedly. The president was asked this. You're making, you're contriving a storyline and a narrative. He said, "Put it to rest." I do all of the quotes, and if you need to see them in writing, I will put them in an email. Hold on. So, are you still beating your wife? No, I don't have a wife. Yeah, but are you still beating your wife? You know, this is amazing. The Democratic Party is completely constructed upon identity politics racial, ethnicity, and religious uh, categories. How many genders are they up to now? I lost count after like 27. And this is the kind of inanity we have to suffer. And John Roberts of Fox News, this clown, can you imagine? They never asked this to Joe Biden, who built his career on racism. They don't ask Kamala, Camel Toe Harris, about her family's legacy of owning slaves in Jamaica. They don't even bring that up. And I don't have to tell you about uh, snick thief Joe Biden and his, his legacy of racism. It's prodigious. Like the Clintons and their affiliation with, uh, what was that old redneck clan wizard that they love so much? It's, it's really uh, disgusting beyond words. And we watch this, every four years they wheel out abortion, racism, and Bob Woodward to reprise Deep Throat on Watergate. They're so predictable because they really can't deviate. They're Marxists. They're not that intelligent. They're just audacious. And if you read what happened in Russia in 1917, you'll see the same exact playbook. And... The greatest insanity of all of this is here we have Philadelphia being burned down by BLM again. Every city in this country has been under assault by left-wing radicals. Not once has a right-winger done anything like that violently. Burn down a city, waste a policeman. I mean, it's, it's, it's absurd it would be like arresting a Jewish person in Nuremberg for spitting on the street while the Nazis were killing millions of Jews and blaming the Jew for spitting on the street. I mean, I can't even come up with the proper metaphor. It's just so insane. It's just so insane. So you sit here and you watch this stuff. It's like an endless reel of lunacy. Anyway, um... I don't know what they're going to do with Fox News, but it's in big trouble. And these media outlets, ESPN, they're tanking beyond belief. They're cratering. Nobody's watching. And they're not learning their lesson. I mean, you know, MSNBC and, you know, these guys are flat out shills for the the deep state. We know it. You don't pay someone as inane as Rachel Maddow $25 million a year unless she's little uh, Mr. Goebbels propaganda minister. That's a, that's what America should elect soon, a propaganda minister, um, because that's what these people are. 
Even Putin makes jokes that it's the United States that has Pravda and Izvestia now. And we do. These, these media outlets, like the FBI apparatus, it all has to be taken down. It all has to be taken down. There has to be solid rules put in place and laws that, first of all, if you lie to the public openly, like Adam Schiff, you go to jail. Because that's not freedom of speech. To, to with wanton disregard for truth, with propaganda in hand, wantonly and maliciously go forth and spread lies as a public servant, you should, number one, lose your job. Number two, you should go to jail. If you lie to Congress as a private citizen, you go to jail. They lie to you, they get rewarded by their political affiliates. This is outrageous. A lying, deviant press is not freedom of the press. It's a propaganda wing. But this is what happens when a society falls asleep on itself. And for years I've said, if you can announce you're a communist, why can't you announce you're a fascist? And it's insanity. They're both anathema to our republic, utterly anathema. They have to be outlawed. So you want to declare yourself a socialist, a communist, a fascist? You need to go to jail because you're a threat to the republic that's sedition. And, you know, freedom of speech only allows so much latitude. You threaten to kill people, that, ain't, that, is, that is not freedom of speech. You'll be, you'll be prosecuted for that. That's menacing at the least, and it could be a felony at worst. Every war that has ever been fought on this planet starts with words. Deeds follow words. Words matter. And when you can get up and lie as a public servant over and over again, without reprise, without consequence, you have a problem. Morality, at some point, has to be enforced. And without morality, legality doesn't matter. Anyway, that's my rant this morning. Uh, congratulations, Fox. Be proud. Another moron in your employ.